You want powerful and reliable solutions from one single manufacturer? Then it's time to get to know the three-phase solution from SunGrow, a combination of hybrid inverter and battery. All you need from a single source, beyond the expected. You may find a detailed installation video of the three-phase hybrid on the SunGrow YouTube channel. In this video, we will focus on the installation of the battery. Before starting the installation, please read the safety instructions in our manual. The SunGrow battery is designed in a modular way. This gives a maximum of flexibility in adjusting power and makes installation very easy. The battery basically consists of a base, modules, top cover and switch gear. So, let's get this done. You need a suitable place for the three-phase solution. This means it should be a room where no flammable materials or gases are stored. The ambient temperature should always remain between 0 and 45 degrees Celsius. Furthermore, the battery needs to be well ventilated and should not be exposed to direct sunlight, rain or snow. All screws and plugs required for the installation are already included in the delivery. You only need your own tools like screwdrivers. And off we go! Check the user manual to find out which height to place the holes for the wall bracket, which is needed to fix the battery to the wall. It depends on the number of modules you are planning to use. The bracket will be mounted on the top battery module. After defining the right position, you need to mark the position of both outermost holes for drilling. Take your drill with a 10mm drill bit and drill at least 70mm deep into the wall at the marked points. The needed dowels are included in the delivery. Now, let's start with building up the battery. Pay attention to leaving enough space between wall and battery. This is mandatory, as the cabling will come out at the back of the battery in the end. In case it's needed, you can add height-adjustable feet to the battery. They are part of the delivery scope. Make sure that the base of the battery is perfectly horizontal before proceeding further. With 33 kilograms, the individual modules are easy to handle by one person. They are designed to be installed in a simply plug-and-play style. Fix the modules on both sides with the included M5 screws. Next step is to connect the switch gear to the base. Slide it into the foreseen slot on the right side of the battery and fix it with the included M5 screw. Once all modules and the switch gear are in place, it's time to fix the battery on the wall. You'll need the included M4 screws for the wall and M5 screws for the module. Now let's come to cabling. The battery has four connectors grounding, P+, P-, and one terminal for communication with the hybrid inverter. Let's start with the grounding. Fix it on the battery side and connect it to the ground at the bottom of the inverter. In the next step, the battery needs to be connected to the communication plug of the three-phase hybrid. Take the pre-assembled communication plug and connect it to the battery. The other end of the cable needs to be connected to the BMS-CAN interface of the communication plug of the three-phase hybrid. Remove approximately 4 to 5 cm of the cable sheath of the communication cables. Then, strip approximately 5 to 7 mm off the inner cables. Fit the cables with end sleeves before you push them into the plug. Connect the white-orange cable to pin 5 and the orange cable to pin 7. Connect the battery power cables to the P- and P- port on the battery side. In the next step, the cables also need to be connected to the three-phase hybrid. Fix the switch gear with the stud, which is part of the delivery scope. Make sure that all cables are correctly positioned to fit into the intended recess in the cover of the battery. Place the cover on the battery and fix it on both sides with the included M5 screw. Clip in the side cover. That's it! Quick and easy, beyond the expected. Now it's time to start the system. First switch on the AC circuit breaker 
and second, the DC circuit breaker on the left side of the inverter and on the right side of the battery. Wait for about 10 seconds till the status LED on the battery starts blinking. Press the power button once. When the light shines continuously, the battery is ready for use. If this is not the case, please refer to the manual, where you will find a breakdown of the different light signals. That was it. The system is ready to run. If you already have set up the hybrid inverter in the iSolar Cloud app, the battery will automatically be detected and added to the system. If you still need to set up the whole system, you may find a detailed commissioning video on our YouTube channel.